Hi welcome, I must give you an overview of this scripted video on hard disk drive problems faced by few of our known customers, the true NAS management console you are able to see is the live DevOps development box. Now let's see the type of problems reported by the management console, all specific to a single SATA disk drive. As you can see there are few notifications showing at right hand side, these all are critical error messages specific to one SATA hard disk drive from the pool. Running Scrub identifies and reveals data integrity issues, silent data corruptions. These errors are ranging from unrecoverable sectors, unreadable pending sectors, failing self-test even it is not capable of hosting self-monitoring, analysis and reporting technology, smart mon tool, test leading to making disk offline from the pool. To understand these issues, we developed a simulated environment using VMware Player, adding multiple SATA compatible virtual disk drives, VMDK disks running similar workloads. The booting disk is of 20 GB and rest of the data sets are of 30 GB each. We logged in as root and we can see four disks ranging disk, one to disk, four of 30 GB each. Now to create a pool of disks, we tried finding what would be a best layout of disks, where most of the software defined storage software suggest best layout of disks having focus on performance and or resiliency or both, these may be Strive, Mirror, RAID Z, RAID Z2, we opted RAID Z2. We can also visit pool status to see the online or offline status of the newly built RAID Z2. To have our development team access the storage, we would add a data set with required configuration and permissions. We can now configure the hosted device as a network hosted Samba shared drive from map network drive or host the device as block device. At developer's end, their workstations should be configured to have the block device connected and hosted as a network hosted volume using iSCSI protocol. Enable the iSCSI service from the service section and mount and format the hosted drive at the developer's level using Windows computer management interface and does not find any issues, completely flawless. So, age, and how and which environment the disks has been used plays very important role. Now, lastly, to find out what really went wrong with the hard disk drive of the live DevOps drive throwing lots of errors, we used Seagate, Ctools, and run couple of tests on the affected disk drive, which reveals astonishing meta informations. The Ctool, Smart, data reveals exuberantly high red error rate, seek error rate, power on hours, particularly airflow temperature etc. So, it is highly recommended to have spare disk drive, which should be imported to the pool, data should be synchronized and the old erroneous disk should be replaced. Good luck, feel free in communicating with us. Have a nice day.